Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. Iran can afford to play a waiting game with Donald Trump. CNN not long after the rest of the world had openly laughed at his boss as he addressed the United Nations General Assembly. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton mustered his best Jacobean menace on Tuesday. According to the mullahs in Tehran, we are the great Satan, lord of the underworld, master of the raging inferno, he said at the Unget Tuesday. So, I might imagine they would take me seriously when I assure them today if you cross us, our allies, or our partners, if you harm our citizens. If you continue to lie, cheat, and deceive, yes, there will indeed be hell to pay. Those are his block capitals and this is his preferred fire-breathing role. But where is U.S. policy on Iran? Consider that at the same time as Bolton was breathing fire. President Trump was tweeting, albeit to preemptively reject an Iranian invitation to meet that was apparently never made, that he is sure Iranian President Hassan Rouhani is an absolutely lovely man. In truth, U.S. policy on Iran is not devastatingly complicated. Trump, the ultimate dealmaker, thinks he can continue to squeeze Iran with a slow choke of sanctions, holding out the option of a one-on-one. -on -one. Art of the all-encompassing deal meeting between himself and President Rouhani. He believes that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's wish list of 12 ways in which Iran needs to change, coupled with block capital threats, will eventually see Tehran's influence diminished in the Middle East.